T minus R minus E minus S minus 2B is a planet where night never ends, and it's not your regular night with stars shining in the beautiful skies here it's pitch dark and scorching high trace 2B is a gas giant roughly one and a half times more massive than Jupiter, and its surface absorbs light better than charcoal, it might also have a faint dark red glow because of its burning air, which is as hot as fresh lava lovely. In the star system of 55 Cancri, there are five planets four of which are gas giants similar to Jupiter and Saturn. But the fifth one or rather the first because it's closest to the star is different in a most horrible way 55 Cancri East is so close to its sun that half the planet's surface is a literal ocean of molten lava the other half is an eternal darkness because it never sees the sun the planet is always turned to its star on one side and between the scorching and the dark there's the twilight zone, a thin strip of gloomy nothingness. HD 189377b, well, I'm not going to say that again is the only exoplanet in the orbit of its star and at first glance. It looks quite pretty blue and white swirls making up wondrous patterns on the surface, but these pleasant colors actually come from hard silicate particles in the planet's atmosphere, which means it rains glass here, but the worst is that winds reach the speed of 5,400 miles per hour, or almost Mach 7. Well for comparison, the fastest wind speed on Earth was 254 miles per hour over 20 times less thus the glass falling from the sky travels horizontally at hypersonic speed shredding everything in its path. The next system whose name I won't even try to pronounce, um, this one has three exoplanets, which are all being slowly destroyed by their own star it happens because that star is not a regular, it's a pulsar a rapidly spinning core of an exploded star, it creates powerful electromagnetic pulses in several directions, while rotating at several thousand times per second, as a result the planets orbiting this deceased star are slowly being eaten away, and will eventually disappear entirely. Kepler-70 is a hot blue dwarf star that exploded into a red giant some 18 million years ago at the time it was orbited by at least two planets the closer, of which was a Jupiter-like gas giant its name was Kepler-70b, and it still exists, but the overgrown star consumed it and transformed it into a blazing hot rocky world right now. It's one of the hottest planets ever discovered its temperature is higher than the surface of our sun it was lucky to survive spending time inside the star, but it's evaporating now, and will probably be no more in the near future. WASP-12b is one of the weirdest and saddest planets out there the enormous gravity of its star combined with the planets, consisting mostly of gas result in the star slowly devouring its protege WASP-12b has already taken the form of an egg stretched toward its merciless sun, and it's unable to do anything with its condition in another 10 million years. The planet will inevitably succumb to the voracious star's appetite if you ever wondered what it's like to walk on ice and hot coals at the same. Time Lisi 436b is a planet that would give you a vivid example being extremely close to its sun, the Neptune-size exoplanet boasts temperatures hotter than a blazing oven, and yet it's covered in ice which burns incessantly this ice is much denser due to the enormous gravity of the planet staying solid even under extreme conditions and not melting away. No list of frightening worlds could do without mentioning Venus the Earth's evil twin the second planet from the Sun has an atmosphere so thick and full of clouds that its surface is much hotter than that of Mercury volcanic eruptions constantly thrash Venus its gravity is almost a hundred times stronger than ours, and those clouds I mentioned are not made of water, but of sulfuric acid which condenses and rains down on the ground, adding to the inferno, but even if you were brave or crazy enough. To try to pass through these clouds you probably couldn't the winds up there are as strong as some of the most powerful hurricanes back on Earth. Here we have a very long name for a very very cold planet, although the host star is not too far away it's a small and rather cool red dwarf whose light and heat barely even reach the planet the temperatures out there fall as low as minus 370 degrees, which is only marginally warmer than absolute zero the exoplanet is thus dark gloomy and covered in eternal eyes that never thaws still if it has a rocky core. It might generate some heat so there's a chance that deep below the frozen surface some unknown alien things might lurk. Domitium located roughly 50 light years away from our solar system is a planet hostile to any living thing on many accounts it's tidally locked to its sun, which means one of its sides is always facing the star while the other is always turned away the hot side is heated to over 1,800 degrees perpetually blown over with winds reaching 600 miles per hour, despite Domitium being a gas giant. It has a large amount of iron in it, which melts and evaporates in the atmosphere creating clouds and when 
Those cool down they fall on the surface in the infernal rain of molten iron oxygen is usually viewed as an element that might bring life to a planet, but this is definitely not the case for Osiris scientists were shocked to find oxygen on this planet or rather around it, because it's eight times closer to its star than Mercury is to the sun this extreme distance makes Osiris a living melting pot. Where anything that could burn will it's also responsible for a very short orbit of the planet around. The star a year on Osiris is just three and a half days on Earth to boot the atmosphere of the planet is constantly blown and melted away by the heat from its Sunday. Karate XO3b is neither as hot nor as cold as some of the others on this list, but it's terrifying in its own more insidious way it's a gas giant similar in size to Jupiter, yet 20 times denser, this makes this exoplanet's gravity weigh down on everything on its surface, 50 times more than it would on Earth stepping on it would be your ultimate doom. Because you'd be immediately crushed by the density of its atmosphere Karate 7b is another oven-like world its day-to-day -day temperature is over 4,000 degrees combined with the rocky surface it presents an infernal landscape the rocks on the ground bubble and boil evaporating in the atmosphere where they cool down and eventually fall back on the surface in a brimstone rain the saddest thing about Karate 7b is that it might have once been a gas giant whose atmosphere melted away from the heat leaving only the scorched core. We're used to thinking that asteroids are the only free-floating rocks in space, but things like OTS-44 make you think twice and shiver imagine a planet about 11 times more massive than Jupiter roaming in space without being bound to the orbit of any star given its gargantuan size and mass if OTS-44 collides with any other planet it would utterly destroy it and go on floating as if nothing happened scarier still scientists are sure there are millions of such rogue planets out there just waiting to be discovered there's no hard proof of their existence yet but theoretically carbon planets have formed somewhere closer to the center of our galaxy any oxygen getting in their atmosphere will get into a reaction with carbon and transform into co2 forming black toxic clouds on the ground there would be oceans made of tar spewing up geysers of methane and crude oil there would be rains too, but they'd be far from refreshing torrents of pure gasoline and hot liquid asphalt would blast the ground and probably burst into flames on impact hard to imagine anything that would survive such conditions. Okay here you are in the middle of the ocean, it's endless, but you can't see it because there's a thick fog all around you dense clouds hide the huge but dim sun is it day or night you don't know there's only a gray haze around you you're alone even if you try to swim down after several hours you still won't be able to see the bottom of the ocean. And that's a typical water planet for you I know sounded kind of dark but it's not that bad these water worlds are more interesting than they may seem. So let's take a look at them the ocean planet is a planet that consists as you might have guessed mainly of water ice and maybe some rocks think of the earth's oceans its horrifying depths the Mariana Trench and all that and now can you guess how much space all the water on earth takes up 0.025% exactly now just try to imagine a world of 40 to 60% water if you dive in there the depth can exceed 60 miles compared to that the 6 mile depth of our Mariana Trench sounds like nothing. And yeah, the pressure there will be enormous, it can reach up to 20,000 Earth atmospheres very crushing now it may sound scary, but it still would be great to find out more about these planets fortunately, according to scientist calculations, there may be a lot of such planets in our galaxy alone, well, you don't have to go far you can find these water guys even in our solar system not planets of course, but moons Jupiter has Ganymede, and Callisto and Saturn has Titan and Enceladus the ocean can reach. Up to 30% of the mass of these moons, although it isn't clear whether these oceans are covered with a thick crust of ice but we've discovered quite a few full-fledged ocean planets, this is because the conditions in which these planets may exist are very specific for example, this planet should be somewhere 6 to 8 times larger than the Earth if it's smaller it'll have a rocky surface. But if it's bigger it'll turn into a gas giant at the same time it must be in the habitable zone of. It's star a little further and the planet immediately turns into an icy giant or a cold super-Earth so yeah, these guys are very picky we first started exploring these planets back in the 1970s however since then we found only a couple of them, but they're still very interesting, the first planet is Gliese 1214b. It was the very first ocean planet that we discovered initially the scientists noticed only a small dim dot this dot turned out to be the red dwarf star Gliese 1214 and unremarkable. Completely ordinary star that's five times smaller than our sun and 300 times dimmer scientists wouldn't worry about it at all, but back in 2009, they noticed that this star had one single planet and this planet turned out to be quite strange, this super-Earth was two and a half times bigger than our Earth and six and a half times heavier, but at the same time it had a very very small density, 
and about the same gravity as our planet in other words, there were almost no rocks and metals on it, but it wasn't a gas giant either so there was only one option left it was covered in water and ice and that's how we discovered the first ocean planet well actually we can only assume that it consists of water that's what the mathematical calculations say in reality this planet is quite confusing it's difficult to explore and so far scientists haven't been able to find anything there no hydrogen no helium no water nada that's because the outer layer of the atmosphere of this planet is very dense and it perfectly high its composition, but even so it's probably a water world Gliese 1214b is very close to its star, it's only 0.014 astronomical units away, which is less than the distance between the moon and us the year there lasts about 36 hours and the temperatures to put it mildly are just wild scientists suggest that the average temperature there can reach 250 to 535 degrees Fahrenheit that's hot remember the creepy description from the beginning well actually spending time on Khaleesi 1214b would be a little different more like swimming in a steam boiler because of such gigantic temperatures the ocean on the surface will be constantly in the state close to boiling without actually reaching it, so imagine that you're descending to the surface of this planet flying through clouds of steam and then you suddenly find yourself in the water what, but when did it happen well? That's because the boundary between steam and water on Gliese 1214b will be.